I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. Charges have been dropped against Empire actor Jussie Smollett over his alleged hate crime hoax. We have the facts. Hate crimes have been around for centuries. Think everything from Roman persecution of Christians to Hitler's horrors against Jews. A hate crime is an illegal offense like murder, arson, or vandalism with the added element of bias. The FBI defines this as an offender's bias against a race, religion, disability, sexual orientation, ethnicity, gender, or gender identity. The U.S. Department of Justice began to enforce federal hate crimes laws in 1968 when Congress and President Lyndon Johnson signed into law the first federal hate crime statute. Not only do prosecutors have to prove someone committed a crime, they also have to explain why. Smollett, who is African-American and openly gay, said he was attacked by two masked men. He said they yelled racist and homophobic slurs and poured bleach on him. However, police claimed Smollett staged the attack because he was unhappy with his salary. Officials have not offered an explanation why prosecutors dropped the charges, but Smollett will forfeit his $10,000 bond to the city of Chicago. So after being indicted on 16 counts of disorderly conduct, weeks after filing a false police report saying he was the victim of an alleged hate crime attack, charges have been dropped against Smollett. On the other hand, this is a whitewash of justice. Mr. Smollett is still saying that he is innocent, still running down the Chicago Police Department. How dare him? How dare him? Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel said Smollett used hate crime laws to self-promote to raise his profile and salary, which, if true, means future victims of such crimes may be ignored or not believed.